A Kentucky pastor is facing child rape charges in Tennessee as well as Kentucky tonight. Making this case even more shocking is that this pastor was hired despite being a registered sex offender. Tonight he's charged with raping a 14-year-old member of his own congregation. Fox 17's Erica Lathan live now from Gallatin with more on this for us. Erica? Well, Stacey, we can tell you that tonight Pastor Roy Yoakum is locked up here in the Sumner County Jail, charged with statutory rape. Tonight, church members say they're shocked, but some are asking how he got hired in the first place, considering he already had a criminal record. The New Gospel Outreach Church is dealing with a nightmare. It is horrible um, allegations. It's I was shocked. Their pastor, Roy Yoakum, is charged with sexually assaulting a 14-year-old boy inside the church office and at the pastor's home in Gallatin. I'm going to let the law enforcement and the court system decide that. Um, Personally or officially, I'm not in a position to judge anyone. And Police say Yoakum, a registered sex offender, should never have been placed in a position of trust or given access to children. Regardless of whether or not the church trusted him or believed him, his status as a sex offender restricted him from having access to children. So he was in violation of the sex offender registry anyway. Church members say Yoakum told them he pled guilty to second-degree sexual abuse of an eight-year-old boy in 2003, but claimed the allegations were false. They checked with authorities before appointing him pastor three years ago. The Kentucky State Police was contacted. Um, the Kentucky Attorney General's office was contacted um, You know about the legality, and, and they... The, the troopers over at the Bowling Green Post said that they contacted the, the sex offenders branch and they said there's nothing illegal about it. Yoakum is facing statutory rape charges in Kentucky and Tennessee, but the interim pastor says he's still not ready to pass judgment. I'm going to let the law enforcement and the court system decide that um, personally or officially. I'm not in a position to judge anyone. Uh, so far, police in both states say no other alleged victims have come forward. But tonight we're learning that Yoakum could possibly face federal charges if the alleged victim in this case was transported across state lines. We're live in Sumner County, Erica Lathan, Fox 17 News.